Today's learning intention is solving differential equations. Our National Five Essential Skills are still simplifying certain indices and working with fractions and integers. So what are differential equations? Well, a differential equation is an equation involving derivatives. For example, dy by dx equals x squared is an example of a differential equation. A solution of a differential equation is an expression for the original function. In this case, y equals a third x cubed plus c could be a solution to um, this equation. But how do we calculate the constant of integration c? We need to know that, so we're going to have to have further information to be able to do that. We obtain solutions by integrating. So y equals the integral of dy by dx with respect to x. Or f of x equals the integral of f dash of x dx, just noting the two different um, forms of a differential equation. Right, let's look at an example. So the graph of y equals f of x passes through the point 3, negative 4. If dy by dx equals x squared minus 5, express y in terms of x. So if I know the derivative and I want to work back to get to the function y, I'm going to have to integrate. So the key steps are integrate, raise the power by 1, divide by the new power, and we're going to use our given point x, y to calculate the constant c. So that's the extra information I was talking about. And then we always simplify fully at the end. So first of all, we write the statement. y equals the integral of dy by dx with respect to x. Sub in the derivative. So y equals the integral of x squared minus 5 with respect to x. And now it's a case of just simply integrating. So y equals a third x cubed minus 5x plus c, the constant of integration. Now, as I said, we've been given extra information, 3, negative 4. Now, remember, when you're given a point, what you've really been told is a value for x and a value for y. So, what we've been told is, when x equals 3, y must equal negative 4. So, I've got two values. I'm going to sub them into my, my um, equation for y, and that's going to give me c. So, negative 4 must equal a third of 3 cubed minus 5 times 3 plus c. So, minus 4 equals 27 over 3 minus 15 plus c. Now, when I simplify that all down, I've got c equals 2. So, just be careful. We have to do quite a lot with fractions here. And just remember, if you're going to add or subtract fractions, they've got to have a common denominator. So, now I've worked out what c is, I'm going to simplify fully and write my answer. So y equals a third x cubed minus 5x plus 2. Let's try another example now. Example 2. The function f defined on a suitable domain is such that f dash x equals x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2 thirds. It says given that f at 1 equals 4, find a formula for f of x in terms of y. So this is a different notation now. So rather than having y's and dy by dx's, I've got f of x's and f dash of x's. So first of all, we write the statement. f of x equals the integral of f dash x with respect to x. So in the derivative. So f of x equals the integral of x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2 thirds dx. Now integrate. Oh, sorry, before we integrate, we're going to have to prepare to integrate. We've got the integral of x squared plus x to the minus 2 plus 2 thirds dx. Now we can integrate. f of x equals a third x cubed minus x to the minus 1 plus 2x over 3 plus c, the constant of integration. So now to finish this differential equation off, I'm going to have, I'm going to, have to find out what the constant c is. So what other information was I given? Okay, well, I was told that f at 1 equals 4. So what they're really saying is, when x is 1, y is 4. Or f of x equals 4. Okay, function equals 4. So I sub those values in. So 4 equals a third times 1 cubed minus 1 over 1 plus 2 thirds plus c. 
that gives me a 4 equals a third minus 1 plus 2 thirds plus c. So c must equal 4. Now just have a think about that before we move on. So now to finish off, I have to simplify fully and write the function. f of x equals a third x cubed minus 1 over x plus 2x over 3 plus 4. So now try this past paper example on your own. For all points on the curve y equals f of x, f dash of x equals 1 minus 2x. So what they're telling you is the derivative of a function y equals 1 minus 2x. If the curve passes through the point 2, 1, find the equation of the curve. This is a four mark pass paper. I want you to pause the video just now, try this on your own and try and think of where would you get four marks in the exam. When you're finished, come back and pause the video and we'll go over the whole work solution together. Okay, let's look at the, the answer. So first of all, write the statement f of x equals the integral of f dash of x dx. We're going to integrate, so we're going to sub in the function. So f of x equals the integral of 1 minus 2x dx. Now we're integrating, we've got x minus 2 over 2x squared. Simplify that down to x minus x squared plus c, the constant of integration. So now you have to find what c actually is. So go back and look at the information you've been given. So we're given the point 2, 1. So what we've really been told is when x equals 2, y equals f of x equals 1. So using that information, sub it in. So calculate c. I've got 1 equals 2 minus 2 squared plus c. That means 1 equals minus 2 plus c. So c must equal 3. To finish off, simplify your answer f of x equals x minus x squared plus 3. Now it's time to self-assess your progress. Red, amber, green, how did you feel this lesson has gone for you today? If you would like, if you'd like extra practice, try page 181, exercise 9q out of your Heinemann textbook. So what have we learned today? Well, we've learned how to solve differential equations. Solve by integrating. So key steps again, we're prepared to integrate, then integrate your function, use the given point or the given information, x, y, to calculate c, and simplify and write your equation.